why didn't china lose the mandate of heaven why didn't the, didn't the chinese communist party lose the mandate of heaven when defeated by the vietnamese so the, so the chinese uh, invaded vietnam in the late 1970s i think 1979 was it uh they invaded vietnam and they suffered a disastrous defeat at the hand of the hands of the vietnamese army and it was a, a disaster yes it was a military disaster it was a, it was a debacle so i had said in one of my previous episodes that there is a concept called the mandate of heaven so historically chinese emperors were seen, seen to have the mandate of heaven when they were able to rule the country with a strong firm hand and when they lost uh, a military engagement or a military campaign then that's when they were said to have lost the mandate of heaven and that's when the people rebelled against them and that's when uh, dynasties would fall and eventually new dynasties was, would emerge so basically you would lose the mandate of, mandate of heaven when, if you were to have a terrible de- military defeat and i extended this concept to apply to the chinese communist party i said that the chinese communist party is nothing but a new imperial dynasty and the only way they will go out of power is if they experience a catastrophic military defeat somewhere in which case they will be seen to have lost legitimacy and the mandate of heaven in the eyes of the chinese people and then that's when you would have a rebellion whether it's internal to the to the ccp or external to it within china so now this is a good question it's a brilliant question why didn't the ccp the chinese communist party lose this mandate of heaven when defeated by the vietnamese it's because they were able see in 1978 79 china was a closed society it was very much like what north korea is today there was no influence of the external world into china there was no internet there was no bbc there was no cnn there was nothing the only news media whatever the chinese people would be would would consume was all official chinese communist party news and propaganda that's all so what happened in vietnam did not ever reach the eyes and ears of the chinese population because all news was strictly controlled so i would expect that this military defeat was twisted <laughs> into a military victory for the chinese uh, population and they must have been told that we taught the vietnam is a great lesson and we killed so many of their soldiers and we then came back after teaching them the lesson so that's the kind of spin that must have been given to this entire debacle by the chinese communist party and that's how they were not seen to have lost the mandate of heaven if something like that were to happen today in today's age of the internet in the age of the mm, what do you call it vpns so the, so the chinese people are able to circumvent the great firewall using vpns virtual private networks so it's impossible today for such a debacle to remain secret and if such a debacle were to happen today then the chinese people would come to know about it then dissatisfaction would rise exponentially and there would be a rebellion maybe within the chinese communist party itself a coup of sorts or there could be rebellions in chinese territory as well so that's the thing they were able to uh sanitize the the the, the version of what happened and they were able to pro- pro- project it as a chinese victory to the chinese people and that's why there was no dissatisfaction or rebellion anywhere